everyone! In this video today, I'm going to show you a technique on how to create a perfect lip, whether you're going for a very natural color or if you're going for something darker. I'll also share with you on how to change and alter the shape of your lips using this technique. I will also be showing you how to do this darker lip, which is a very big trend this season. So I've got moisturizer on, I've got uh, sunscreen on my face, so let's do our foundation. The one I'm going to use today is from Stila. It's this one, it's called um, Stay All Day Foundation and Concealer. So in the lid that comes with it, it actually has a concealer in the top with a little mirror, which is very, very handy. It also comes with this little foundation brush. Um, I've tried it, I've tested it. It's not the easiest brush to do with this specific foundation, unfortunately. Um, it, it makes it look a tiny bit streaky. So the brush that I'm going to use today is going to be my 109 from MAC. This is a really nice buffing brush, um, very firm, and this is going to help us get a really nice smooth finish. So I'm just taking this foundation, it comes with a spatula inside, and I'm just decanting a nice amount of that on my hands. This foundation says that it's buildable, it's medium coverage and it's buildable, which means we can start with a thinner layer and you can build it to become more. Um, so I'm just going to start by this, doing the center of my face, and then we're moving outwards. You can see that I'm using this brush and also just patting and buffing. And just remember to go down onto the neck as well. Now once I've got enough foundation on my face, I'm just going to come finish it by taking this brush and just blotting it all over my face. This will just help to set and blend everything together. Now I'm just doing a um, color correcting. This is in that Pro Palette, Pro Conceal Palette. This color is called Mid Peach. And I'm just going to do that over the darker areas under the eyes and on the inner corner and also on pigmentation. And then we're going to do our concealer. So this is the one that actually comes with the foundation and they have made it one shade lighter than the foundation color. With this foundation, I'm not going to powder, it has a very nice velvety finish which um, I think doesn't need any powder. I'm also going to conceal around the lip just make sure, don't put anything on your lip, just go around the lip with your concealer. Just make sure that concealer is very well blended in and make sure there's no foundation and concealer on your lips. So next I'm just going to moisturize my lips and prep them for later. I like this Island Tribe um, lip balm. This is the moisturizing lip balm. You also get one that has an SPF in it. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that and prep my lips for later. I'm going to keep my eye makeup very natural as we are focusing on the lip. I'm using Painterly Paint Pot from MAC and just a nice flat um, eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to put that all over the eye, right up to the brow bone. And we're also going to put that underneath the eye. Next, I'm using my Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in Heather. And I'm also using my Eye Blender brush from Bobbi Brown. And I'm just going to apply this color in the crease. Then with the flat eyeshadow brush that I used, and uh, for my painterly, I'm just going to do a little bit of this color underneath the eye as well. And then for a little bit of a highlight, I'm going to use my Christian Dior, um, this little blue, it's like a shimmery blue, it's called Blue De Click. My flat eyeshadow brush was I've cleaned off on my towel. Get a bit of that product, and I'm just going to do that in the ball of the eye. Now for our eyebrows, I'm going to use my 208 Angled Brush from MAC, and Eyeshadow Espresso, also from MAC. Get some of that product on there, holding my brush at an angle and just softly brushing through my eyebrows. You can see I've made my eyebrows a little bit bolder than I usually would as we are doing a trend dark lip look today. So next we're ready for our mascara. I'm going to use my Volume Flash from Rimmel. This is extreme black. And with this look, you really, really want to apply a lot, a lot, a lot of mascara. My second mascara that I'm going to use is my Physician's Formula um, Organic Wear. I love the brush that comes in this one. And with this we just separate and lengthen. To finish off the eye makeup, I'm going to use a white eyeliner on the inside of the eye, just on that inside rim. This pencil is from MAC. It's one of the limited edition eye pencils. You can see it's like a little bit of an off-white. It's not a um, full stark white. I would suggest keeping your eye out because they do end up relaunching a lot of their products. And just keep an eye out for this one. As you can see, it's a really great color. It's not stark white. Using my blush brush from Bobbi Brown and my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Dark, I'm just going to do a bit of contouring. We're going to put that color 
in the hollow of the cheek. I'm going to go up onto the temples. Do a bit on the forehead here. Or by the hairline. And underneath the face. I have done a separate um, contouring video. So if you want to know all about contouring, please go watch that. Now when it comes to choosing a blush color, I always recommend that you choose a color, a blush color that's got the same undertone as your lip color. And in other words, you're not going to do a coral blush and a pink lip as they will clash. And when you do a pink undertone blush and a pink lip, they complement each other and it looks way more natural. The blush color that I'm going to use with my lighter lip color, my natural lip color, is my powder pink cream blush from um, Bobbi Brown. Using that same um, blush brush from Bobbi Brown, just going to smile and we're going to pat that onto the apples of our cheeks. This is one of my favorite blush colors as it's so natural and so easy to apply. We have already prepped our lips by um, moisturizing our lips. If you have flaky lips, I do recommend exfoliating your lips first. The one method you can do is you can, when you brush your teeth, just take your toothbrush and in circular motions, gently brush off those dry skins. The other method I do recommend is take a very moisturizing lip balm, apply quite a lot of it, wait a few minutes and then come with a tissue and just brush, wipe off those dry skins. My natural lip color that I chose is from Estee Lauder and it's called Stay Rose and my lip liner is from Chanel and it's called Pink Sugar. Make sure that your lip liner and your lip color is exactly the same color. We're going to start by applying this lip color from the center of the mouth out, so from the inside out. And then with a lip brush, grab some of that product on the brush and we're going to go right into the corners. This is very, very, very important. It's probably one of my biggest tips is to make sure that you go right into the corners with your lip color. I see so many women that literally just put it on in the center and stop. And that makes your pout look very small and very tucked. Where if you go around into the corners, it gives us a fuller lip. Again with your lip brush, I'm just grabbing some more product. I'm just going to go around the line of my lip. You can see that I support my hand. I put my pinky on my chin. And this just supports my hand and gives me a little bit more stability. Now we're going to do our lip liner. I am going to just stick to the, the natural lip line of my bottom lip. And on my top lip, I'm going to overdraw ever so slightly as my top lip is a little bit smaller than my bottom lip. Make sure that you go around into the corners again. Now I'm going to show you how to get this lip looking absolutely perfect. I am a massive fan of angle brushes. You will see me using them over and over and over again. Um, these ones I actually got from Art Shops. They work very, very well. These are from MAC and I think this is a Makeup Forever brush. I'll be using this brush which I got from an Art Shop. And then I'm going to use my concealer that came with my Stila foundation. Grab some of that product and put it on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to flatten that product, just grab some of it onto my brush. And then we're going to use this brush at an angle like that for this side of our mouth and we'll flip it around for this side of our mouth. So I'm going to support myself on my chin and we're just going to come and draw a line with this um, concealer around our lip. Just short quick motions. And once we've drawn that line, we're going to rest this brush on that line and just drag it down in wispy motions. This just blends that line so it's not a solid line. Every time you go back to grab some more of your product, make sure that you flatten down your brush that the bristles aren't all messy. The most important areas is to do it on the outer corners. So for this top lip, angling the brush down this way. And for this side, the brush will angle down this way. I'm also going to use this color and do it on the cupid. And then very softly go all around the lips. Our finishing touch is our lip gloss. This one is from L'Oreal um, Everlasting Beige. It's one of their six hour glam shine lip glosses. I'm only going to apply this color in the center of my lip, like that. And make sure you get it up right up to the cupid. 
By putting gloss in the center of our lips only, this helps to make our lips look fuller. If you already have very full lips, try and avoid the gloss and if you do wear gloss, really just put a tiny amount on the center of the lips. You don't want to make your whole lip look super shiny. If you have very thin lips, you can apply your gloss all over your lips. This lip liner and concealer technique is a really great way to change and alter the shape of your lips. So for instance, if you have very big lips, you would want to draw with inside of your natural lip line which means your natural lip line will still be visible and there won't be any product on it so then you will come and put your concealer and conceal that outer lip line if you have very thin lips you're going to overdraw a little bit and you're going to draw just on the outside of your natural lip line and then concealing around that will enhance that shape and make it look more natural if you have lips that are uneven, where the one side's maybe a bit higher than the other one or the one drags down a bit um, more than the other one, you're going to want to draw in the shape that you want, making sure it looks natural. And whatever is visible on the outside, you're going to conceal that. If you have a very small mouth, you are going to want to take your lip pencil and overdraw all the way around just a tiny bit outside of your natural lip line and also you can apply gloss all over. Now for the dark lip, I'm not going to wear any blush as we are doing a trend look and that's why we have the bold eyebrows and I'm just done the contouring. The color that I'm using for my dark color is going to be Cyber, which is this color there. It's like a very deep dark plum lip and I'm using a lip brush from MAC. Now for this color, I don't have a lip liner. So I'm gonna show you how to do your lips perfectly without actually having a lip liner. Your brush, this is a beautiful brush. It's very firm, it's very thin. Uh, this is very, very important. So just start by applying this color all over the lip. I like to start from the inside of my lip and move out. Make sure you get right into the inner corners. And just start getting closer to that edge. Now we're ready to come and define. So as I said, this brush, the brush is very important. That it's a thin brush, it's got a very sharp edge to it. I'm going to rest my finger on my face just to give me some stability. And then I'm going to come and draw that line in. Don't try and draw it all in one go. You can see I'm just doing little streaks at a time. So for my bottom lip, I'm sticking to my natural lip line, um, whereas for my top lip, I had to overdraw it a tiny bit, as mentioned. If you have made a mess and you've accidentally gone over the lip line, use one of your angle brushes, dip it in some makeup remover, and just use it on that edge and clean up like that wherever you've made a mess. To finish off the lip, again, I'm going to use my concealer from Stilla and my angle brush. And I'm just going to make sure I don't have too much product on there. And we're just going to come and draw along that line. For the other side of the lip, I'm going to flip my brush around this way. The most important area is to put your concealer is on the outer corners of the lip. So if you struggle to do the bottom here or the cupid, rather just leave that out. So I'm going to do this top corner. For the top corner, I'm going to angle my brush straight down and again supporting myself on my chin so I've got some stability. And just like that, you're going to draw that line down and then again place your brush on that line and just sweep it upwards to blend that line. Every time that you grab some more concealer, just make sure that you flatten that brush to keep these bristles flat and straight. So for the cupid, I'm just going to pout. And using this brush flat, I'm just highlighting on the cupid. If you do happen to get a little bit of concealer that goes over the lipstick line, don't use that brush again so you don't spread that all over your lips. But you can come afterwards with your lip brush again and just clean up there with a the concealer spilt. And that is our darker lip done. As mentioned, this is a trend this season, so go and embrace it. You don't have to go this dark. You can definitely go a little bit lighter. You can also see how this technique with the concealer around the lip line works so well with this dark lip. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you soon.